So I just thought I'd take this opportunity to have another chat with you while we're doing our stage change for Double Sex Tet. You should never waste an opportunity to communicate with your audience. And that was sort of the premise for this whole extravaganza, I think. I remember talking to Lyle several years ago now about, well, we need a marathon-style event in Sydney, like what Bang On A Can have in New York. And the main reason we need something like this is to pull our audiences together because all the groups... Yeah! <laughs> all, all the ensembles and soloists and fab fabulous musicians from not just Sydney but around Australia that you're seeing here today, you know, we all struggle to, to communicate with you guys, to let you know about what we do. And that, that's actually the greatest struggle in this time of of amazing social media and, and the most amount of communication that we've ever had in, in the history of the world, yet it, it's still hard to sort of get to your audience. And so um, I don't know if anyone's noticed or if anyone else has talked about this, but in the foyer after, after the concerts of, of each group, the groups will be in the foyer and um, we can be their artists kind of chatting to our audiences. And one of the reasons why we, uh, Lyle wanted to make this happen is that um, we want you to sign up to our newsletters because <laughs> that's our best way of communicating with you. So, for example, if you're not on the Ensemble Offspring newsletter yet, I would implore you to go downstairs after the gig and um, join up to our newsletter because also we have a really great offer. Well, it's not really an offer, it's like a little mini competition where you can win a Rode microphone. Well, not really win, I think that's illegal, I can't, I don't know. But anyway, you can, you can get one. Um, if you <laughs> answer the question right. Um, <laughs> so, um, you can say hi to us, we'll be signing CDs, which you can buy um, downstairs as well. And I just thought I had to mention um, a bit of shameless, um, yeah, self-promotion here that my CD, Claire Audient, um, which is reasonably new, will also be on sale and that features the work you just heard, Vermont Counterpoint. So if you feel like buying an old-fashioned CD, <laughs> you should go down there and take a look at them. The other thing I wanted to mention is that, um, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but there, there's this video on the white wall when you go out into the foyer. It's quite high up if you're on this level. Um, there are some of our Offspring Vites videos, and I think there might be earphones somewhere where you can listen to the music. Has anyone done that yet? Hmm, anyway, have a look. <laughs> there was meant to be. Um, and our Offspring Bites CDs are also for sale, but basically it's, it's an um, initiative where we actually um, commission video artists to make videos, bespoke videos, to, to go with um, pieces which have been commissioned for us. Um, so I think that was about all I was going to say about the marketing side of things, but um, the last piece on the program is Double Sex Tet. And this is a piece which we've never actually performed before and we've kind of had it on our bucket list for ages. We're joined by um, some other people who've also had it on their bucket list, including Ashley Smith, who's flown in all the way from Perth to join us on this <laughs> piece. We've got um, Jenny Kafagi, who's joined us from Melbourne. <laughs> Also, our regular cellist, Blair Harris from Melbourne. And um, <laughs> I'm not going to introduce everyone on stage. There's too many of us. But basically, we've got, um, like I said in my little chat with Lila, a bit of an all-star lineup, even though our, that is not our name, obviously. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is a bit of a, a tour de force. It was written in 2008 and it won the Pulitzer Prize when it was written. So, you know, for any people who know Steve Reich's output, it's, it's pretty huge. There's a lot of pieces in there. He's lived a long life and written a lot of music. And I think we all agree that this is up there in sort of the top three. I think music for 18 musicians is my other all-time favourite and probably drumming as well. Um, anyway, so you can hear in this piece this effect which you heard in Vermont Counterpoint of the, the sort of displacement by a beat of the same pattern, which is basically just this development of, of his counterpoint idea and it, it goes through the whole piece. The piece is in three movements, very Reichian, fast, slow, fast. As I said, thank you so much for coming. Thanks to Lyle Chan, City Recital Hall, everyone for having us. It's been a blast and we hope to meet you in the foyer afterwards. Thank you.